Coco vin is a classic French dish that literally translates to chicken with wine. Specifically, red wine is traditionally used. This version is actually a quick Coco vin blanc using white wine instead of red, and it happens in under an hour. I have four slices of bacon that I've chopped into one inch pieces, and they're rendering in this nice braising pan over a medium flame. And while that does its thing, we can season the chicken. I like to use thighs. I have eight of them here. That's about three and a half pounds. This also gets a generous amount of pepper. We can't forget about the other side. So give these a good flip and we'll repeat this process. And flour, one quarter cup. The flour acts as a thickener for the sauce as it braises in the oven. And it also helps ensure a nice crust. Really, we're just rendering the fat from the bacon. That only takes a few minutes. We have a nice fond, that's what this brown stuff is called on the bottom of the pot, and that gives us lots of flavor. Remove the bacon with a slotted spoon. We want to keep all that fat in the pan for searing the chicken. Okay, as soon as you've removed every last bit of bacon from that pan, the chicken goes in. Skin side down first, that's very important. Leave a little space. You may have to do this in two batches. You don't want to crowd the pan with your chicken. The chicken will steam instead of searing and browning. Okay, this will just need a few minutes per side. These are looking ready to turn. Yeah, the chicken is now releasing easily. We have a beautiful golden brown color on that skin side. Oh yeah, just a few minutes on this side and we'll be ready to go. Lifting off easily from the pan, so here we go. Next we have mushrooms. These are creminis, I love them, eight ounces. Have them or quarter them depending on their size. Now if you have more than two tablespoons of fat in the bottom of your pan, you'll wanna pour that excess fat out. I had relatively lean chicken, so I didn't need to drain any of the fat. I have a 10 ounce package of pearl onions here, frozen, that have been thawed and drained. Season again here, a little salt and pepper. You want these vegetables to turn golden brown in places. And that'll take about eight minutes. And just stir occasionally, don't stir it constantly or you won't get any nice color on your vegetables. Ah, yes, the mushrooms have a beautiful golden brown color. The onions also. Now, one of my favorite secret weapons in the kitchen, tomato paste, lots of flavor. And I always like to caramelize it in the bottom of the pan briefly before adding the wet ingredients. So two tablespoons goes in and stir that about. This will provide an even deeper, richer flavor to your finished dish. Just about 30 seconds. Okay, and wine. Good, dry white wine. I like Sauvignon Blanc. If it's not a wine that you would drink, it's not a wine you should be cooking with. Two cups is about half a bottle, so you can measure, but I'm just using my eyeballs. This comes up to a simmer, a boil, really. You want this to almost evaporate completely. Some of it will be absorbed by the mushrooms and onions, and the rest gets cooked off. Look at that beautiful, rich color. Deep mahogany red, it's so pretty. This will take just a few minutes to boil down and evaporate. We can add in the chicken broth. You'll want one and three quarters cup. As this comes to a boil, return your chicken to the pot and all of these juices that have collected in the bottom of this pan, that's a lot of flavor. I call that money in the bank. Add all of that right back in. You don't wanna miss a drop. Now your work here is almost done. Remove from the heat, sprinkle with that bacon that you cooked earlier, evenly over the top. Transfer this to a preheated 350 degree oven until the chicken registers 165 degrees on a meat thermometer. That'll take about 20 minutes. I told you it was quick. Yes. This is smelling so incredible. I love to serve this with egg noodles, but you could also serve it with mashed potatoes or a good crusty bread and a nice big thigh. Okay, right on top. And of course you want lots of those mushrooms and onions and sauce. And the finishing touch just for something fresh and bright, parsley leaves. And this is a wonderful weeknight weekend or anytime meal. Quick Coco Van Blanc. Happy eating.